You should, uh... Okay, so this says I can't blast this thing. Alright, I'll do this first. So use the boost ball to get up here. And scan that, which activates this. Vomit, and the sand will drain out. From now on, you have to use the boost ball to get around this room. To get up through the upper entrance. But you get a missile expansion. These are coming more quickly than I thought. Anyway, so if there is a moment from any of my... From any of my, uh... Metroid Prime Let's Plays. Um, the original... This one, or Corruption, that you would like to see included in a series of top moments uh, from the Metroid Prime games, then say uh, say what game and what part of the Let's Play it is, and give me a rough, you know, it doesn't have to be to the second, but a rough idea of where in the video it is. Uh, also, a brief description would make things easier. Anyway, you can include you can pick anything, even if it's been in one of the top ten things that I've featured already. Uh, this will, yeah. When I started, I wasn't even sure I would. Well, I wasn't sure I'd get to the end of my first let's play. I really wasn't sure that I'd get to the end of all of the Metroid Prime games. And honestly, I'm still not sure because the final boss fight is very difficult, and I have never beaten it on hard mode. Uh, but I think I should be able to. Now, are these things I've already scanned, or... Yeah, there's another Metroid that I haven't scanned yet. What the... What the... Did it just randomly die? I have no idea what happened there. I'll take it, though. <laughs> okay, these are the classic Dark Beam Missile done enemies. Except it's usually ice cream. Okay. Now that I have the spider ball, I can use these tracks around here. Other crates. Thought there were. Eh. Anyway. Uh. Yeah, the spider ball can... Sometimes I get confused when the camera changes and the... I'll switch direction suddenly because... Like that. I think there's like a, a red herring here. There's a path that... It shows you that you don't really need to take. One of these two. Yeah, I was afraid that would happen. Of course, it's the one I choose. It's like whichever one I chose was going to be the wrong one. I knew it. <laughs> Just because I chose it. Well, of course, I could conceivably have... You see? Some people... Some people curse when they get the same things wrong. Some people say nonsense words. I don't like to limit myself to one or the other. I recorded something earlier today, but the video quality was just fail because I did not have enough lights on in my room. Uh, or maybe this is the maybe this is the wrong route. Okay, to be honest, I have no idea what I'm doing now. This was pointing me at something, but what I don't know. Maybe I need to have the storage racks up. Maybe that would help. Oh, there were crates here. Yeah, what I was recording was not... It wasn't anything from my any of my three Let's Plays, so... Yeah, didn't miss any of that. Anyway. Why am I failing simple jumping? Alright, I'm trying to get over to... Where'd it go? Oh, that door. 
probably just make it like this. Except I bumped into something on the way up. Jeez, this is going to take a lot longer if I can't do these things right. Ugh, you can't do the screw attack if you bump into something on the way, and I don't know how I could... Wait, unless I'm supposed to... Okay, maybe this is what I'm supposed to do. Raise the middle one so that the highest position is exposed. Then use the spider ball track. That's probably what I'm supposed to do. Anyway, I make sure I made sure that the lighting in this room is better. And I I could have tried to I could have tried again to record this thing because it was like one of these things where it has a replay and you can choose to save the replay or to my god, how long is this going to take? It's one of those things where you can choose to save the replay or you know, do it again and I should have checked the video before I, uh, I quit without saving. But I was a noob. Okay. Nah, come on. Don't be stupid. Alright. Well, I'm where I should be now. I think you're supposed to be able to make that without the screw attack. Okay, this isn't where the item was. It's just a missile expansion. Hmm. Is there any purpose to those things on the roof then? Or near the ceiling? Maybe it's just to provide a quicker route. I don't know. Yeah, so I don't know where this thing is. It's the, the last charge combo is what I'm looking for. I may have to look at a guide because uh, it's not coming to me where this thing is. I was wondering why I stopped and the reason was because there was a wall in front of me. Or in front of part of me. Alright, there's going to be, I think, two new scans somewhere around here. Ah, of course I had to step in the face, huh? Alright, here is a Metroid Cocoon. Alright, as soon as you scan this thing, start shooting it. Start shooting them because they will spawn small Metroids constantly. And I should scan one of said Metroids. These guys are weaker than regular Metroids. If one finds Phazon, it will go to it and turn into a standard Metroid. Alright, Dark Beam would probably be better here. Okay, one dark beam shot kills an infant Metroid. Oh, aren't they cute? No, they're not cute. Okay, one dark beam shot does not kill an infant Metroid. You can see how this can get out of hand quickly if you don't destroy the, uh, the cocoons. So I'm going to go do that. Of course, it's difficult to do that also because the things keep attacking you. Of course, they all also make really high-pitched squeals. Because all babies make annoying noises. See Super Mario World 2. Okay, I think I got all the cocoons. Boom! Headshot. Metroid even have heads. Oh, still a cocoon left. Is 
Sea Metroids will start flying at you from everywhere. And the Metroids will... Ah, another cocoon. No, I don't have to do any of this. I just want to demonstrate how difficult it is to get rid of everything once the cocoons are here. I think that was the last one. You can see this will put quite a dent in your dark beam. Oh, where is the little... Surprised it didn't put a bigger dent in my energy. I think I got that already. Let me just make sure. Don't step in that thing. Yeah, whatever was in here I got already. Probably a missile expansion. More crates. Yes, more crates. More crates. More ammo. That's a weird noise. Alright, what? Well, well, if I go around collecting stuff, maybe eventually I'll find this charge combo. Ignoring the turrets. Hoping the door open. Okay. Turrets get me, of course. I'm gonna go into that room just to make sure that, you know, it's. I'm not missing anything in there because it's the one room I don't visit. We Goodbye. I don't know why I said we. Ow. Alright, elevator, elevator. Oh, it was right there. You know what, if I'm looking for the charge combo for the Annihilator Beam, I should probably look for a door that needs the Annihilator Beam to open it. That might help. Alright, I have all the pirate data scans already. That just goes back where I started. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else in here. Alright, so... I think I've gotten everything in the pirate base area. So moving on. All right, pirates are going to. Are pirates going to appear here? Oh, maybe not. Alright, no pirates here anymore. Not sure why. I think I got the thing here, but there's something in the dark world I need to get. Definitely something I can get in here. Entangled! That's what the charged dark beam is actually called, the entangler. Oh, crap. Wait, how is he still moving if I got him with the entangler? Wait, what are the other dots on the radar? Local bioforms, probably. Alright, so power bomb this thing. And prepare to use the spider ball. Now just a short level course here. And it leads to another missile expansion. Where else can I go? Oh, there's another room where I haven't been. 